they're thinking about. So Gus Schramm, he's a big guy, and I said, don't worry, fellas, I'll do the emergency brake. All this is a handle on a chain when you push it in, this plate goes against the cable and slows you down. Well, he grabs it with two hands, he puts it on so hard, he breaks the handle off. So now you don't have a brake. Now what's going through your mind? Death again. Well, Hap Anderson, he's the next guy in the car, he said, fellas, we're all gonna die, let's face it. We're gonna come smashing that building, hit those big rocks, we're dead for sure, but I got a plan, he says. Well, we pass over the roof of the compressor house. We might be 15 feet above the roof. We can all jump out and land on the roof. If we don't do it, we're all gonna go. Anyways, Matt Riley's down here, he's a foreman, and Hayes, he's the hotel's self operator. He sees that tram car out of control, coming in, picking up speed, Matt Riley grabs a big steel rod, he throws it in the big drum wheel in the hoist house where the cables are, hoping it's going to tangle up and slow it down, and half Anderson jumps. But he misses the roof. If he would have stayed in the cart by slowing it down and throwing that rod in there, the cart come in crooked, but it landed okay. The other four guys say, where'd half go? They would remember he jumped. They look over the front, there he is, laying in the rocks. Broken arm in two places, dislocated shoulder, several broken ribs, and a collapsed lung. Spends almost three months in the hospital. We does come back to work. I guess the moral of the story is, don't jump out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> you can see this whole thing was a challenge for Borglum, but he was pretty successful when you look at his work.